Goats living among the rocks are extremely large, the height of adults reaches 100 to 106 centimeters, weighing 90 to 140 kilograms. Males can be easily distinguished from females by their much larger size, otherwise boys from girls do not differ much in appearance. This mountain goat resembles an ordinary domestic goat by its horns, which are not large in size. They are relatively small, smooth, and slightly curved. Depending on the season, the horns change their color. In the warm season they are gray, and in the cold winter they are black. The powerful neck has an elongated, medium-sized head. The beard has a characteristic goatee. The limbs of mountain jumpers are extremely strong, thanks to such strong legs, goats can easily cope with the steepest and most dangerous climbs and descents. Their hooves are black. The tail is so short that it is almost invisible because of the luxuriant fur. A distinctive feature of these animals is their amazingly beautiful coat. It is especially striking with its glamorous appearance in winter. At this time, the white coat is particularly thick, long, sagging in a lush fringe. No heights and rocks are not afraid of such an animal as the snow goat. It is easy to guess where this brave creature of nature lives in the mountains. Unfortunately, the population of these cloven-hoofed animals is decreasing. In the wild, this snow-white mountain goat is found exclusively on the rock slopes of North America. Horned rock climbers are capable of conquering peaks up to 3,000 meters. In ancient times, snow goats inhabited every expanse of North America. But over time, people gradually drove them out of their native places. The animals had to go farther and farther away in search of solitude and tranquility. Snow goats are not herd animals. They may live alone or in small groups, three to four individuals. Conflicts between them are rare, if undesirable conflict arises, they take a kneeling position, which helps to smooth the situation. The character of these animals is calm. They are not very active, sedentary, although they have to lead nomadic life to get food. Moving over the rocks, mountain white cuties do not like to hurry up and do not like to make abrupt movements and leaps, unless necessary. Slowly, like real climbers, the cloven-footed animals manage to rise to dizzying heights. A large powerful body does not prevent goats from holding on to small stones with their hooves. If, having climbed a cliff, the animal sees that it is impossible to get down, it simply jumps down, even from the height of 7 meters. In such a jump, the snow goat can turn around up to 60 degrees. If her hooves do not find a level landing site, she simply pushes off with them and makes another jump until she is confidently on her feet. Snow goats occupy an area of about 4.5 to 4. 7 square kilometers to feed. In autumn, they migrate to the southern and western slopes of the mountains. They don't like to go down into the valleys and look for slopes that are not yet covered with a layer of snow. Mountain animals graze in the morning and evening hours. If the moon well illuminates the area, the goat's meal continues even after the sun goes down. The menu includes all vegetation available to them, grass, wild cereals, moss, bushes, tree branches and lichens. Moss and lichens are dug out from under the snow by herbivorous beauties with their hooves. They nibble bush branches, leaves and bark. In captivity, snow goats' favorite delicacies are fruits and vegetables. Snow goats are polygamous animals and are not known for their loyalty to one another. The mating season is during the cold season, November to December. At this time, the males begin to sweep the territory, spreading a special liquid. The specific smell of their marks informs females of the male's amorousness. Behind the goat's horns is a gland that secretes this fluid, so he rubs his horns on rocks and trees, thereby leaving his unusual smell everywhere. When meeting a female, the snow goat must earn her favor with unusual, and even funny, if observed from the outside, movements. First, he sits on his hind legs while digging a hole in the ground with his forelegs. Then, sticking out his tongue, on bent limbs he follows his chosen one, showing his humility. This whole play is staged to make the snow goat reciprocate. After the horn suitor lightly strikes the female on the side, and she does not do the same in return, it becomes clear that the couple was made by mutual consent. During six months, the snow goat bears her offspring. She always gives birth standing up, 
and in most cases she gives birth to one baby goat, which weighs about 3 kilograms. Newborn calves are very active, from the first days of life, they walk quickly and feed with appetite on mother's milk. After 30 to 35 days on a milk diet, the goats begin to eat plant food and graze with their mother and the rest of the group. The lifestyle of snow goats is unusual, primarily because of the mountainous terrain where these amazing creatures live. There are many interesting facts about white beauties, snow goats are not afraid of even 50 degree frosts with strong winds. In such extreme weather, the animals are reliably protected by thick, lush, warm wool. The bifurcation on the hoof, depending on the situation and the need, can narrow and expand. Due to this, the animal is able to move on any terrain with a slope not exceeding 60 degrees. There is a matriarchy in the group of snow goats, the female is the leader. It is impossible to see a snow goat in the woods or fields, they live only in the mountains, sometimes strolling through salt marshes. In ancient times, the Indians used to collect on the rocks the wool that snow goats shed during molting. The goat's down was used to make woolen fabrics. They are real experts at moving at high altitudes.